guys, it's Hallie here, and today I'm going to do a review on all three of the Miraculous Ladybug Pop figures. So I'm going to start with the first one in the set, which is Ladybug. So of course Ladybug comes in the standard Funk Funko Pop. She has the Pop Animation sticker, Miraculous Ladybug, her number, her picture, like the description, her window box on the side back and you get a picture of all three figures so I am going to take these out of box I know a lot of Funko collectors are like no don't do that to your figure but I can't keep anything in the box to save my life so she's coming out of the box she might go back in later but I doubt it here she is all right so I'm gonna set her down real quick pop her out and then we'll get on to Tiki so here is Ladybug. Of course, she has the standard Funko eyes. I kind of like how they colored them in because usually they just have black eyes. Uh, her head is movable, just a itty bitty bit. She does have her miraculous earrings, which is a really nice detail. Her hair is, of course, in the according pigtails with ribbons. Her suit is so cute. And of course, she also has her, if you can see it, little yo-yo compact thing and she looks like she's just ready to fight so that is adorable and of course we have little tiki the kwame she's supposed to be like a ladybug kwame so you have the antenna her little blue eyes her little dots and her cute little kwame tail and she's just a cute little figure uh tiki is not as poseable. I think she's just a solid piece of plastic, so she is not movable like Ladybug is. So there is Ladybug. I love her so much. They got the coloring so good. Her hair is so cute. She's just a cute little figure. I'm hoping she can just stand up on her own though because she might be a little top heavy, but she's a cute little Funko. I don't really know much about Funkos because I don't really collect them. Um, the only Funko I have, I have a Funko Pop Dumbo and you know he's just an elephant <laughs> he's really cute though all right so let's move on to Cat Noir now Cat Noir is my favorite character I guess he's a lot of people's fan favorites so I'm really excited to see what they did with Cat Noir of course there he is Ooh, got him he wants to come out of his box so here is Cat Noir. Of course, he has the posable head all the way around. That's really nice. He's quite movable, actually. And I did order all of these off of Amazon. My mom ordered them for me for Christmas. They are off Amazon. But they got his yellow hair, bright yellow. They have the green eyes. I don't see a lot of paint smudges. I know a lot of people say Funkos have paint smudges. I don't really see much. He has his Cat Noir ears with the little clips. Uh, you can see his miraculous ring down there if it will focus he does have his ring um, he has his staff and the details are so cute he even has his tail with the little silver buckle his silver clawed feet the bell he is gorgeous I love this figure I love ladybug too but I love cat noir and we'll also pull out his Kwame, Plag, who of course is the black cat Kwame. Plag has his three like antennas. He kind of has like this devilish look on his face, which I feel like Plag would totally have in general. You can see his little teeth, his little tail, and of course he's like Tiki. He's not going to be as poseable as the figures themselves. Alright, finally we have hawk moth the big bad guy um which i'm not going to spoil the show for you guys but if you don't know who his real identity is by now you're behind in the season or you're a child watching this which is really nice thank you for watching my video so here's hawk moth he comes out of the plastic he does not come with his kwame um nuru which is kind of sad i'm thinking these guys may might have come out before Nuru was introduced in the show, because I'm not really sure how long ago the Miraculous Ladybug were coming out. So here is Hawk Moth. Of course, he has his silver cowl. He doesn't have a smile, which none of them do, but this is kind of weird how it just has this open area without a face, but oh well. Uh, it does have the moth kind of imprint 
his black eyes like standard Funkos. He does have his cane, which comes with the Miraculous. And if you look really closely on his necklace right there, on his neck, if it will show it, I don't think it's going to, you can see the Moth Miraculous. He is in a really pretty glittery silver or purple suit. And he's got his silver shoes. And you know, he's a basic little pop. He does have the full kind of range around his neck. Not as much as, age, as um, Cat Noir. And Ladybug has pretty good motion, but Cat Noir's head spins all the way around. He has kind of a harder time moving, which is fine. But for a single figure, he's not that bad. Like again, I don't have any pops, so I don't really know what to say. But he is pretty cute. He is a cute little one. I kind of like the one, I kind of like how the Kwamis came with them. So maybe they'll release some new sets with season two and we'll get more than just Plague and Tiki, like Trix and uh, Pollen for the Bee Miraculous and uh, the Fox Miraculous and maybe even Waze with the Turtle. But you know, they're so cute. I love these guys. All right. So that is it for this video. Sorry, I'm trying to put them back in their plastic. That is it for this video. I, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like me. If you want to see more Miraculous, let me know. I'll try to make it happen. See you guys next time. Bye.